Welcome in to the Thursday edition of the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, thank you for being here. We're going to be fairly snappy today because we just have a couple of aspects in the sky. But I do have a couple of quick announcements I'd like to run by you. First of all, this is the last day. I know you've been listening to the promos, but it is the last day for the free audiobook by Bob Proctor. The offer ends tomorrow. If you're interested, go to HighTimelineBooks.com. I would think if you were giving away a book called Magnet to Money that you'd have a line a million people deep lined up to get it. (laughs) So if you haven't visited there, go there and check out the details. It's right at the top with Michelle Blood's new video book. You buy one, you get the other. Second new thing we're doing, February 10th, that's going to be a Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So those of you in Australia, that's going to be early Sunday morning. We are doing a live horary practicum with Robert Glasscock. This is free to our horary course participants. If you're not in the horary course and you want to check it out, you want to hear more about what horary astrology is about, and you want to ask even a question, what we're going to do is create a waiting list. So if we fill up with course people, then we're going to stay with that. If not, then we will open it up to others, and you can join for $25.00. You don't have to pay at the time you register. Just get on the waiting list, and then we'll hopefully have some slots available. You course members, sign up in the next couple of days because we're not going to keep it dangling for long. We want other people to have opportunities, too. But if you've been curious about how astrology can answer so many questions so precisely in your life, this is going to be a lot of fun. We'll have Robert on live to interact and ask questions of him. So all that information on everything and to join the course. If you'd like to get in, get the course, you get the free uh, access to this. It's all on funastrology.com. Now, one aspect today to note, that is Venus, which is in Sagittarius, is in a trine to Chiron, which is in Aries. So a fire sign trine. Try to say that three times without spitting your coffee. (laughs) Fine, fine, fine. Be careful if you're driving now. But this just continues that emotional journey with another little emphasis from a different perspective. Chiron, of course, represents that wound that we carry mostly through our lives. It's kind of like that potential shadow around the corner. And where Chiron is in your chart, what sign and house and aspects it has related to it, describes what that wound is, or wounds, plural, can be more than two, but what they are for you. And it certainly is one of those, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And that was the third announcement I wanted to make real quick is, yes, I am going to be bringing back readings and going to add coaching, but it's going to be later on in February, March. I've got to just get a few things squared. Y'all, I've been overwhelmed the past month or so, and I've just got to get a little clear space, get my feet back on the ground, get some planning done, and then we'll implement this stuff. But it is coming, so don't worry about it. You will have a chance to get back in the queue if you want for some reading and even some ongoing coaching, which can or may not be based on astrology. Now, tying the moon into this, the moon changes signs tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. It enters Aquarius. You know, that has a cool picture to it because the last couple of days we've had this inner focus. And now tonight, as many of you wind the day down, the moon is saying, time to grab the bull by the horns again. You got this. You've been looking inside. Now it's time to go out there and be a little radical and march to your own beat. Implement the things that have come up for you. Dare to take these next couple of days as we enter the weekend and implement some radical new changes in your spiritual life. Maybe there was just one. I like to do bite-sized, right? You just take a, hey, let's just nibble on this a little bit at a time. Something has come up over the last couple of days. Work that into your life. Now, we have another fiery aspect that we need to mention that happens tomorrow, so we're in it today. It's applying today. It's moving toward it today. It's growing as we speak. And that is that at 541 tomorrow morning Eastern, Mars trines Jupiter. Now, that's an Earth sign trine because Mars is in the early stages of Capricorn, five degrees, basically six degrees is where this is happening. And it is trining Jupiter at six degrees Taurus. Fire planets, Earth signs. Now, let me just give you an illustration of, I've been talking this week about you have to go back and look at your natal chart. And by the way, we had a good discussion in our Facebook group about what apps do you look for if you're an Android user. 
And basically the summation of that conversation and what I agree with is time passages, and you can either do the free version or you can decide to upgrade to the pro once you've played around with it a little bit. And Astro Matrix are two really good apps for those of you on Android. And then if you're on the iPhone, I like to add Astro Gold and Time Nomad. But I know there weren't quite as many suggestions for you Android folks, and we don't want you left out. Grab Time Passages. It's free. And then you can also get Astro Matrix, which is also free. And all that money you saved, you can buy the Horary course and join us for free on February 10th. There you go. Hey, well, there's a plan. I think that's in the sky. <laughs> all right. So here's the deal, though, with applying these things to your own chart, because... I'm going to take my own chart as an example. You know, I've got this dynamic called Marsentune, three planets glued together at the same degree in Scorpio, and that degree is six. So yes, for those of you new, you are listening to somebody who has 666 in Scorpio. Go figure. If my mother had only known, <laughs> I wouldn't be here today. I promise you that. But look at this. Jupiter is exactly opposite all that Marsentune energy. That's what I call the Sun, Mars, and Neptune at 6 Scorpio. So see, this is just a personal example, but I'm showing you how you put this together. So Jupiter is across from that. That means Mars in Capricorn is sextile to that. So as we rattle off these aspects every day, you need to click in, oh, wait, that could affect me, because here is a trine with power and expansion. And yes, Jupiter is in opposition but what it's saying is if you will kind of leave some of your natural tendencies and go explore some new territory on the other side of the chart and implement the characteristics of that sign and where that house would show up, then you've got the cosmic rabbit's foot and the cosmic rocket fuel at your disposal. And that's basically what we're looking at here. Mars is happy in Capricorn. Jupiter's not doing so bad in Taurus. That certainly relates to money. So there is a money element about this. There is a love element about this. There is a stability element about this. There's a new project element about this. And I just blew that this was going to be a short episode. <laughs> you can see, though, there's a lot of power in this. We'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow, but you are feeling it today. So carpe diem, seize the moment and apply that into your life and your own chart as well. Have a great Thursday. I love you. Sorry I ran a little bit over. I thought this was going to be about three or four minutes. <laughs> Have a great day.